Hey everyone, so this is Chicago Fire Season 6, Episode 9, called Foul is Fair. Um, it starts off with Matt waking up at around 2 in the morning, and Gabby's not in the bed with him. Uh, turns out she's in the living room still searching for Bria um, on her Facebook page. Um, so she asks Matt for still to cover, cover for her um, at work, and so he's... You know, like, okay, I guess I can make that work some sort of captain. So anyway, it goes to the next day where Brett walks into the sleeping area where everyone sleeps at uh, during their entire shift. Um, she smells something horrendously horrible uh, there. Um, and Otis thinks it's one of Cat's bags he has under the bed, under his bed. Um, but before they can really, you know, figure it figure anything out, truck, squad, and, amb and the ambulance all get called out by the woman caught in a machine. Um, once there, we find out that her foot is caught under a revolving door. Um, while they're trying to get her out, um, this guy keeps, you know, um, uh, interrupting them while they're trying to do that. And so, once, he get once they get her out of the um, revolving door, they decide to, um, K K uh, Matt's like, you know what, I'm gonna leave your ass in there, <laughs> even though you have a meeting that you need to get to, so, um, as they're about to leave, one of the kids, Gabby and, uh, Severide talked to the night before, um, come up, comes up to Severide and tells him about how Bria hangs out with other kids behind a small market um the reason he didn't say anything before is because uh gabby and Severide look like cops to them to him so um he didn't say anything after the kid leaves matt confronts Severide about what they did and gets told uh Severide thought gabby to, uh, would have told him but she obviously didn't so, and he thinks the reason she didn't tell him is because she knows how he feels about getting too close to victims. Um, so then goes back to the firehouse where everyone else can now smell the stench print smelled earlier. Um, and Otis now thinks it might be someone from first shift trying to prank them. Uh, then goes back to Gab goes to Gabby who calls Severide and tells him that she possibly found the woman we called Aunt Melinda on her Facebook page. Uh, so Severide then tells her the info, they, uh, info the kid gave him um, and that Matt is worried about her. Um, uh, Severide then goes, tells Matt about Gabby going to the market or go, going to uh, Joliet. Um, and clearly, clearly, Gabby still hasn't called him. Uh, so, Severide then, you know, goes to the market that he was told about with squad just in case they get called out to, uh, uh called out. Um, and he finds some kids there, but as soon as he, you know, tries to talk to them, they run away. Uh, and on the way back to the truck, he finds a phone with them dropped. Um, and before he can actually get back in the truck, the girl who turned around when he said he was looking for Bria comes back up to get it back. Um, she gives him information about how she was planning to see her father in the mandatory facility for getting clean that he was sent to. Um, but she apparently never came back. Um, and she thinks that Bria was picked up by cops. So... Um, and then goes back to the fire station where Otis, Herman, and Melch move all the beds out of the sleeping area to see if the beds smell or if it's still if the smell is still inside the room. Um, and to get away from the guys doing that, Matt goes to uh, where goes to the desk where. Um, uh, okay, I'm blanking on her name, but the the uh, Brett's uh, ex friend um, who stole money. <laughs> uh, she the desk that she used, um, and in 
uh, in turn Bowden offers Nat an actual office to work out of to get away from the noise. Um, in Wood 61, it gets a call about a woman being down from unknown causes. And uh, once they get there, they think she's passed out from carbon monoxide, but she's actually passed out from chloro chloramine, which is uh, a combination of chlor chlorine and ammonia, I think. I think that's what it is that... Um, um, and so once they get her upstairs, uh, they call ha they they call dispatch to get hazmat there, and uh, try to get her awake. Um, and just as they're about to leave, um, the attractive hazmat dude who helps clear out the house comes the, comes up to them comes up to them, telling them the house will be clear in about an hour, and both of them are clearly instantly attracted to him. So. Anyway, so back at the station, after clearing all the beds out, Herman, Otis, and Match still find that a smells in the sleeping area. So Match thinks it's, it might be a plumbing issue and decides to check it out. Um, goes back to Matt, who ha is um, in the office Bowden offered him, and finds a box of Gabby's old stuff, including a picture of the pair with Louie. Um, then it goes to squad three going to the rehab center where Bria's dad is uh and Cruz is able to get Severide uh to uh, be able to like uh be able to be let back there um because initially he the woman standing behind the reception desk says is, is saying no uh and apparently they know each other Cruz and this woman because I think they might have went to high school together but anyway uh so Ryan goes back to talk to her dad, um, and he feels like, you know, I think she hates me, and, uh, because I, I got hooked, and I, I, uh, almost died, and now she's on the run, um, and all that, so, but Severide sees a message that she wrote on the window, out, uh, in this room, saying, I love you, dad. Um, meaning that she was there, um, and shows it to him, so, uh, Gabby then goes to Melinda's house and tells her Bria's in trouble, and Gabby gets told that, you know, Bria's mom killed herself at the hands of her father, um, but she doesn't get much more information out of her, uh, so Gabby then, you know, calls Severide, tells her what she found out, and he tells her what he found out, um, and then goes back to Brett and Stella, offering to call Zach, the hazmat guy from earlier, and get him to come over to find the smell. Uh, after the phone call, they're both like, well, I want to ask him out because uh, the guy that, I, Stella says, well, the guy that I'm into has completely put me in the zone for being friends only, and, and, uh, Brett's like, well, I just broke up with Dawson for the second time, and yeah, it's just, yeah. Anyway, so Matt listens to a voice from Gabby and then declines the office from building because he feels he has become distanced from everybody. So, uh, he, he, that's what, I mean, that's the, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him and his parent distancing. I don't know. Uh, I could see Gabby having become distanced, but I don't know about him. Anyway, Zach then gets there and immediately Stella and Brett start flirting with him and then bring him back to the sleeping area. And he uses this device where it can find the source of an odor. Um, he finds it in a, uh, in a uh, short wall. Um, that is hollow inside and breaks it open and tells them that it's a dead animal in there um, and apparently it's a dead animal that Herman's son uh, gave them the guinea pig that they, he gave the firehouse and Herman is visibly upset so he's like uh, uh, later that night when they're all at the uh, um, at uh, Molly's uh, he's like all of y'all gonna have to give me like two hundred dollars 
I don't know if it's $200 each or $200 total. I don't think I quite caught that, but it's like, you're all going to give me the $200 to, to whatever. Cause I, I don't even remember what he said. Cause it's just like, I mean, when he's upset, it's, it's kind of funny to me and I, I want to laugh so much. Cause it's like, it's so funny the way he get like, the way he gets mad. I mean, I know that it's like he get, he's mad, but it's still kind of funny to see that. So anyway. So Gab, uh, Gabby's telling Sarai that mad about how Bria's aunt has a uh, mental uh, illness and that her um, mom, in fact, did kill herself when Bria was six, but Bria and her father weren't there when it happened. Um, she then gets a call about her Jane Doe being brought into the morgue with a card in her purse, with uh, Gabby's card in her purse. Um, and it sound, sounds like the description that Gabby asks uh, asks about uh, for the Jane Doe is that of Bria. Um, so the promo for next week doesn't show whether or not Gabby actually positively or negatively identifies um, Bria, uh, if the Jane Doe is Bria or not. Um, all it shows is that Severi seems to be offered a job that he may not be able to refuse uh, from, uh, I think, a fire, uh, fire chief, firefighter chief. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Um, this episode was pretty, pretty lighthearted, in my opinion. It wasn't, you know, heavy on the drama. Um, I mean, obviously, Gabby's still looking for Bria. Um, I hope it's not Bria for for uh, Gabby's sake, because as it was brought up in this episode, she tends to take things very hard. Um, so I, I hope she doesn't take any more hits, because I love the character. Uh, I personally identify with Gabby a lot, so um, I don't want to see her beat herself up any more than she already is about a lot of things, including uh, that, which is including of Bria and Louie, so I, um, I just, I, I really hope that they don't have it to be Bria, I really hope so, um, and, um, as far as Severide goes, I don't, I think he might take it, uh, just because I think the reason why he, Part of, at least part of the reason why he hasn't, you know, allowed both him and Stella to be a thing is because of the fact that they're working together in the same firehouse. And it was hard enough. He he saw what it was like with Matt and Gabby. So uh, trying to have a relationship in the same firehouse. I think that's part of the reason why he hasn't... Uh, hasn't allowed a uh, thing to uh, like a relationship to form between them um part other other part of the reason why is because he j literally just lost uh what was her name anna or something like that it was that one girl who had uh cancer um and he just lost her like right like not long after not long before stella you know kissed him and all that so i think that's those that that's the reason why he those are the two reasons why he hasn't gotten in a relationship with her. Uh, so, I think he might take the job just to see, A, how he likes it, and B, um, if, if he can make a relationship work with Stella in the future, personally. Uh, I don't know if that's going to necessarily happen, obviously, but, I mean... Um, but yeah, that's what I think so far is going to happen uh, as far as next week goes. So I will see you guys later.